Hello, I'm Entrelissima, and welcome back to From the Dead. So, you might wonder, what, what are you doing here? This, this is not, this is not the campaign. And yes, it is not the campaign, but as I've been doing for the last few ships, I'm going to be building in the vehicle designer. A number of people have said, can you do a bit more of the building actually on the screen? Um, and since we're waiting to decide which faction to attack, I think this is a good time to start actually building on screen, especially since we're going to be building a sub, and a lot of people have been like, can you build a sub on screen? Oh god, what happened there? Can you build a sub on screen? Because, you know, I want to see how to build a sub. Um, I have no idea how really to build a sub to be the best way possible, but uh, I'll do my best. Anyway, so we're going to be building a sub, and I want the sub to be... Well, let's, let's lay out the design specifications of the sub, right? The sub must be large enough to carry a lot of missiles, because it's going to fight using missiles, so it must be good at missile spam. Okay? It needs to spam like a million missiles. That's like step one. Step two. Uh, have an engine big enough to shield it so that any cannon shells coming down it don't hit it. Although to be fair it probably doesn't need shields that much because it will be underwater. But that's step two. Step three. Torpedoes. Step four. Go up, go down, be a sub, be fast enough. Really? I'm just gonna... I'll be honest. This is not gonna be like the... The best sub in the world. It's not gonna be the best vehicle in the world, but I want it to look awesome. Like I want it to look like an actual like nuclear sub. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna hit build mode, which won't matter because then I need to go over here again. And I will go new object, vehicle. Boop. Okay. Let's bring this out of the water using caps lock. And lock. Metal block. Metal beam. Okay, so, I'm not actually going to build the outside of the sub except to sort of give me an idea of how large this thing is going to be. And then I'm going to build the rooms, and then I'm going to build the outside of the sub around those rooms. So, what I'm going to have the sub is something like a... 4 high... Deck... 4 high... Ceiling. And it's going to be round. Oh, I should put a mirror line in. So it'll be something like that. But I'm not sure if that's actually going to be big enough. Hmm. Might need to be a little bit on the bigger side. In which case it's going to be ovular rather than circular. That does give us like two decks. I mean, you could probably make it work. The issue is, if I start building it and I end up having to use a larger form factor, that's really going to, like, knock everything, to, like, out of whack. And I don't really want it to be crazy, crazy long as a sub. I'd like it to be not not too long. Um, I guess, especially if it's curving the sides, it does need to be wider, especially, because we want to be able to get enough missiles in. Maybe we don't make it, like, really ridiculously expensive. Maybe we just make it, you know, measurable. Okay, let's try this. This is the hardest part of shaping, in my opinion, actually trying to get different parts to meet like this. And I'm going to come back when I'm done. Okay, so I have something that I like. Uh, let's make the width um, 9, height 5, length 5 as well. Mm, you are one wider and one higher. Or maybe higher than that. Oh. There we go. Grab. Place. Switch to something else. And you can see here we've already got eight holes pre-drilled. We could put another four in the front here. Uh, I might just do that. One, two, three. 
Although that middle piece will fall out. Will it? No, no, because it's a beam. Aha! And there we go. We now have one, two, three, twelve, I believe. Yeah, twelve holes. We could probably put a couple more in, like in the bits here, if we wanted. Um... Yeah, let's do that for now. We can always take them out later if we decide against it. And there. There we go. We've got 16 torpedo tubes on the front. It looks a bit more like a salt and pepper shake of some kind than an actual sub now. But what the hell, right? What the hell? Okay, so I put in some wooden support beams just to hold these in place while I do this. We can put in the missile torpedo connector. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Followed by laser designator. And then if we put a missile controller, which we can only do if we've got something to rest it on top of. Um... Ah, no, that would not work. Tempting, but no. Block. Metal block. Just a block of metal there. Although that said, there's a cool idea about having a, like a... a double-decked torpedo room, actually having, like, a deck in here. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So, basically, we've got to bring you up to here, put our missile controller on there, and then that missile controller controls these, which have now filled with torpedoes. Excellent. And we should be able to delete these beams once we connect this up to this. So, block, metal block, Aha! Why are you not connected? Not connected. Ah, because you're at the top. Yeah, and you don't connect through the... Uh, you only connect through the... Let me delete you. Aha! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you should now be connected. You are connected. Excellent. Right. Uh, I would like... This little torpedo... Ejector add-on. And I think I have to take the mirror line off to do this. So one there. Spin around. Well, no, one there. Then spin around. One there. One there. Spin around. One there. One there. Spin around. One there. One there. Mirror line. Now they've all got two ejectors. And they should all, yes, they all have missiles in them. I'll set them up later, but for now they're good. These ones, on the other hand, uh, four length and six length, can all be just be attached to the same thing, because they're all just going to be uh, self-homing. And I can set them up now. So, th what's going to be the best way to set these up? Now let's put the outer skin on around them, so see what space we've got to work with. If we go metal... So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. We've got twelve of them to connect up. I think we can just can we connect through the sides? I wonder. Do they connect to the side or do they connect through the side? Let's find this out. Experiment. Um, if I just put that in and then I put a missile controller, or I could just grab that one there. Right. Connected, connected. Connected, connected, connected. They connect through. Ah, right. Well, this gives us a little bit of room to play with. I didn't want to place... Because we can delete, delete. 
do this. And that connects up all of those. And then we can put ejectors on. And I believe we can get two ejectors on every single one. This is actually a really efficient design in terms of space management for our torpedoes. I actually really like this. Everything's got two ejectors. Oh, hello. I spot you need your ejectors. You need your ejectors and you need your ejectors. There we go. This is really good. I really, really like this. Surprisingly working. And I can fill the space in between with uh, metal. Try and make sure that they uh, have a bit of protection. Now, to set up the actual control block. Since we've got a control block on the top level there, I'm actually going to go for a control block on the bottom level. And we should be able to just place the control block like that. Connected, 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 connected. Aha. Although actually, we can place the control block there. Connected, not connected. Okay, so if you place the control block back to back with that, it doesn't work. You have to place it back to back with a... I wonder if... Connected, not connected. Okay, so you can't... It'll just take it if you put it straight into there. Connected, 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 connected. Not connected. Okay, so it doesn't work. That's fine. We can just bypass that by putting in that. I've got to say, really am liking how that's set up. Though I could just sink the control block into the floor. Which might not be a bad idea. Yeah, and then I can just delete you. Yeah, there we go. So that's all the torpedo set up. Which means the torpedo room can end about... Well, where I put this, because then we can have a little bit of space behind it. But then we've got to put a thrust unit in. So the thrust unit is going to be a little bit more complicated. Because I want the thrusters to be set a little bit into the side. And the, the side is luckily... One, two, three, one, two, three. Which means the propellers, huge propellers, are going to be the right size to be sunk in here. So, if we delete you, we delete you. Now, we could set it another one in, and then you wouldn't see much of the propellers at all. You'd just see little holes in the side. Do we have enough depth to do that, really? I mean, we do. It would bring the corridor down to three wide. Would it look better? It would look a lot better. So I'm actually going to do that quickly. There we go. I think that looks a lot better. The thrusters are basically hidden. We can have a smaller block at the back as well, which will allow it to turn really, really easily. What we need to do now is get an engine in and a command area and then an ammo area. Now, trying to get command, ammo, all this sort of stuff in. Command is fine. It can be pretty small. Ammo. Placement. Placement is king with ammo. That is the issue. And we could probably get some down here, below this corridor. Mm, yeah, below the thruster blocks. Yeah, that might be possible. So ammo, I think, will go as an afterthought, provided we have enough space. Uh, engine and command, I think, is the important part now. So what I want to do is move this forwards, because this is going to be effectively the end of a section. Let me just grab one of these blocks. Well, that's actually a beam block for the moment. There we go. Which means I can now delete this. Aha! And now, this can become our command and engine section. So engine on the bottom, probably. Command on the top. I mean, in theory, it would be better to have it the other way around, but I actually want to be able to have a little conning tower. Um, this should be suitable. Right, so let's put a flat area in there.
There we go. Okay, we're up to 9,000 power almost. That is fine. I don't need a lot more than that. That engine is complete. It's not really walk roundable, which is a shame. I was hoping to have like the ability to actually walk around my engine a little bit. I mean, I could open the top of the compartment up. Yeah, I guess we can open the top of the compartment up. Just have a walkway over the top. We can always put our little command deck on that. Right. Continue the edge of the sub. I think the sub is coming along quite nicely. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. The sub is actually looking pretty good. How much is it weighing in at, at the moment? 50,000 metal, which is fairly cheap, actually. I don't think this thing is going to actually be that expensive. It's going to have a fair amount of firepower as well for its uh, size. I'm actually quite pleased. Right. So, what we've got left to do is a command area, um, tidying up, putting in the missile systems itself, uh, the rear thrusters, forward propulsion, and then it should be good, actually. So, I'm going to call it here for this episode. I think we're good. Yeah, so I've been at Elysium. Next episode, we're going to finish off the building of the sub. And then we'll get back to campaign as usual after that. But anyway, until next time, if you enjoyed, please give a like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Let me know what you think of doing special building episodes out of uh, the campaign like this. Because I know some people have definitely liked doing building episodes in campaign. But uh, a few people have said, you know, it's a bit awkward. And I have noticed it's a bit awkward having to flip between rattles and then come back and be like, I don't know what I was doing. Everything's dropped in the water. But anyway, until next time, stay shiny.